The Painted Word by Tom Wolfe is a critical essay that explores the contemporary art world and the evolving relationship between art and language. Published in 1975, Wolfe's work is a scathing critique of the art establishment, particularly the dominance of art theory in criticism over the actual creation of art. Wolfe begins by examining the profound shift that occurred in the art world during the 20th century, moving from the traditional emphasis on the visual to a preoccupation with theoretical concepts and intellectual discourse. He coins the term, the painted word, to encapsulate this transformation, suggesting that words and ideas about art have become more significant than the art itself. The essay delves into the rise of art critics and theorists who, according to Wolf, have become the true arbiters of artistic value. Wolf argues that artists are now creating with an eye on the critical reception rather than focusing on the artistic process or the visual impact of their work. This shift, as Wolf sees it, has resulted in a detachment from the genuine experience of art, replaced by an over-reliance on intellectual interpretation. Wolf singles out the New York art scene as a microcosm of this phenomenon. He criticizes the close-knit community of artists, critics, and gallery owners who, he argues, have created an insular world detached from the broader public. This elite circle, according to Wolf, dictates the trends and narratives within the art world, leaving little room for individual expression or deviation from established norms. One of Wolf's key targets is the abstract expressionist movement and its subsequent interpretations by critics. He contends that the movement's success was not solely due to the visual impact of the artworks but rather the persuasive language employed by critics to explain and legitimize the art. Wolf identifies a symbiotic relationship between artists and critics, where the success of an artist is often contingent on the ability of critics to articulate the significance of their work. Wolf's critique extends to the academic jargon and convoluted language that permeates art criticism. He satirizes the verbosity and pretentiousness of art theorists, suggesting that the complexity of their language serves to obfuscate rather than clarify the meaning of the art. This deliberate use of dense, esoteric language, according to Wolf, contributes to the exclusionary nature of the art world, making it inaccessible to a broader audience. The Painted Word also explores the paradox of art being defined by words rather than visual experience. Wolf contends that the more obscure and impenetrable the theory, the more prestigious and avant-garde the art is perceived to be. This, in his view, leads to a disconnect between the artist and the audience, as the general public struggles to comprehend the significance of the art without the aid of elaborate theoretical frameworks. In conclusion, Tom Wolfe's The Painted Word is a biting critique of the contemporary art world, highlighting the dominance of language and theory over the visual and experiential aspects of art. Wolfe challenges the incestuous relationship between artists and critics, the exclusivity of the art world, and the convoluted language that often alienates the general public. While his arguments may be controversial and polarizing, the painted word remains a thought-provoking exploration of the intersection between art and language in the 20th-century cultural landscape.